Good afternoon guys, Tony back again, Horror in Todge. Hope everyone's well. Friday afternoon here in the UK. And just thought I'd come back with another uh, pickups video. So this is from the last couple of weeks. Picked up quite a few titles, about oh, 25 or 26 titles from all different genres. Um, 88 films, 101 films, Eureka, um, BFI lots of different um lots of different titles guys so thought i'd show them off and um show you what i've got so first one i've got is the newest italian collection well one of the newest italian collection lamberto barber macabre uh this was lamberto barber's first outing i think 1980 uh really cool movie First time watch for me, and it's a um, fantastic movie. I really enjoyed it. It's got some weird elements in it, and, you know, you don't quite know if it's a giallo or a mystery or a body horror or, you know, a haunting. You don't really know. It keeps you guessing, and one of the best endings I've seen in a long time. Really cool movie. Uh, this is a nice 88 Films edition with a nice slip cover. So that's the Macabre. <clears throat> and also at the same time, I haven't watched this one yet. It's uh, Lucio Fulci's Dev Devil's Honey. This is the Italian collection again. Got these at the same sort of time. Haven't heard the greatest things about this one, but, you know, another Fulci movie. Uh, and another an Italian collection because I collect them. Yeah, it looks really uh, interesting. So I'll give that one a watch. So I've got those two together. I have got two other Italian collections coming, um, The Witchery, I think it is, and another one, what comes out, I think, next week, but uh, they're not here yet, so I'll just show you what I've got at the minute, uh, 101 Films Special Limited Edition, filmed by Peter Weller from 1995, called Screamers, I remember this one, being uh, about 10 years old, renting it, but can't remember much about it, no, it's a uh, a sci-fi sort of thriller horror, you know. Um, looks really, really cool edition. These 101 films are always good. The numbered, you get a nice sort of hard case. Uh, the Amaray and a book in there. Um, really nice work they do. That's the back if you want to read it, guys. It's uh, based on a short story, apparently. So, yeah, quite a few extras in there. Like I say, the... 101 films are killing it with these at the minute. I'm really enjoying them. <coughs> um, one from Arrow Video. You seen me open my four up last week, what I got. Um, you know, the woman and blood tide and things. But this is one that I picked up just before that. A newish one called Empathy Inc. Um, another, I think it's another sort of sci-fi horror by the looks of it, looks quite cool, but haven't watched it yet, as you see it's still in the cellophane, so if you want to read the back guys, there you go, but look quite interesting, you know, like my arrow, cool cover there, so yeah, um, one from Eureka Entertainment is um, Sergio Cabuche, I've seen a few people opening this, uh, Eastwood for Life fan, uh, The Specialist, um, so meant to be a pretty decent western <clears throat> I love uh, Sergio Cabucci's westerns are really good you know Django and things and, and Navi Joe is quite good as well <clears throat> but uh, meant to be cool can't wait to give this one a this one a watch meant to be a bit different for a western a bit slower but uh Really nice addition, they do look at your Eureka. Nice slip cover and stuff, probably a booklet in there. Um, I got this one from Second Sight. It's um, Catherine Brelate, I think that's how you say it. Catherine Brelate film. Uh, French movie, I think it's 90s. I did watch it. Uh, 
very erotic sort of really weird film not the greatest film in the world it was all right but nothing to write home about just a drama basically about a, a boyfriend and girlfriend and the boyfriend isn't quite feeling it with a woman sexually so she starts sleeping around with all different people it's just a bit strange as the french films always are series of sexual encounters basically but not a bad film but if you're not into that sort of thing don't grab it guys because you know not a lot happens but always nice to add to the collection i love second sight movies this one i just got in the uh post yesterday i saw the um description of it there the most extreme 108 minutes of japanese cinema in history so i thought i've got to grab it i've never heard of it i saw it on um someone posted it on facebook destruction babies so if you know much about this guys tell me um so just reading the back of it now guys just looks looks quite mental so it looks like a a gang type film clockwork orange reservoir dog sort of vibe to it apparently piece of Japanese cinema history so yeah look forward to that one looks good like I say just the title alone third window pick this up off Amazon for about eight eight pounds something like that this is another one that looked really good another Japanese film from uh, Sion Sonne um, Tag never watched it yet I've heard a few things about it um Looks quite cool. Um, surreal horror that combines his art house of so it's an art art house ish. Yeah, so it looks really cool. I did watch the trailer to it. It looks bizarre and that sort of thing, which I love and I love Japanese cinema at the minute. It's one of my favourites. Eureka doing another great job. Dual format here. I think this was about eight pounds as well. Of Amazon, so I picked that one up. Um, a BFI films called Legends of the Witches and the Secret Rites. So, don't know much about this, just read the back of it, and it sounds really crazy. X rated sort of documentary type. So uh, I think it's like pagan rituals and really strange stuff, what I've seen of the trailer. But I thought I'd pick that up. It feels really hefty, so it's probably got it's got a DVD, it's got a Blu-ray, it'll have probably a book or a poster. Um, but yeah, really, really look forward to watching this one. Look at the special features on there, guys. So if you've seen this one, let me know what's, what it's like. BFI do some good stuff. So, yeah, that one was off Amazon. Um, this one was off Amazon as well for about £5. Studio Canal. Uh, Scarlett Johansson. A film by Jonathan Glazer. And it's called Under the Skin. Um, apparently it's... Uh, an alien inhabits... Earthly form, so... Something about an alien, but I've heard a few people say they like this, a few people say they don't, but I'm looking forward to watch it. Uh, Scarlett Johansson always does a good job of thinking stuff, so this says it's a masterpiece, so can't wait to watch that one. And I love Studio Canal, so yeah, Under the Skin, that's about £5. So a good friend of mine on here, Bryn from Horror Hands, talking about this last week, so... Picked it up for about, I think, five ninety nine, six pounds off Amazon. The Innkeepers, meant to be a slow burn, with a good payoff. Um, looks quite cool about a hotel. Thai West, so I really like Thai West's. Um, what's it called? Ah, oh, completely House of the Devil. I think that's Thai West. Really like that. So, yeah, the innkeepers, so I'd say cheap enough. Uh, picked these two up because I found I didn't have them on, I only had them on DVD. 
So I thought I'll get them on Blu-ray. Insidious 1 and 2. Picked them up off Music Magpie. £2 each. Me and my daughter. When my daughter was going on at me. She's only 11. But she was like. Really want to watch Insidious Dad. She's 11. These are 15s. And there's not much. You know yourself in the first one. It's only jump scares. There's no killing or. You know. Nothing graphic or anything. Just jump scares. So we watched this together. And she was alright. She jumped a few times. I jumped a few times. That's all that these films are. And there's nothing to really write about. But £2 each. Got the uh, third one on the way. And the last key. Like I said, I've got them all on DVD. So probably give them away to someone. I might say for £2. You know what you're getting with these insidious films. James Wan. Uh, just a jump scare. But yeah, £2 each. And um, this one I found, someone put it on Facebook again. Three ninety nine. Jeremy Irons. Uh, David Cronenberg's Dead Ringers. Haven't seen it before. But uh, meant to be um, a stylish sort of horror film. Psychological horror, obviously. David Cronenberg. And not meant to be the best, the best transfer, this one. But for three ninety nine. You know, what do you expect? And I like Jeremy Irons acting, really good. So I look forward to watching this one. This one was £5 too off Amazon. And um, I thought I like the slip cover, The Haunting. And uh, this is, you know, this one sort of the HMV sort of cover, but it was on Amazon. It was quite a cool. Cool movie. It's an old movie. From when's it for? Um, I don't know. Sixties is it? Yeah. But I remember watching this one with my dad. I think I might have it somewhere on DVD. But I quite like the slip cover as well. So I thought for five pounds of Amazon, pick that one up. Uh, the next bundle, guys, are some movies that I haven't heard of. And some I have heard, uh, and some that are obviously not going to be very good. But basically, I put in put in Amazon uh, horror Blu-ray and put in cheapest first. So I had a look. I thought, see if I can pick up some movies cheap what I haven't got in my collection, or that you know that just come up. Some days you get some that are cheap one day then you go back to see them say they're like five pounds and you go back to see them and they're like 10 pounds the next day 24 hour thing so i got all these movies here there's 11 movies and i think i paid about um about 28 pounds was about two pounds something each anyway you know what i mean so really cheap first one i got was this one cam pal bruce davidson don't know much about it, guys, but for £2.50 or something, that's in foreign on the back. I think it's a Spanish one. Spanish, French or something like that. I don't know, Spanish by the looks of it. But it's in English. Campbell, don't know anything about it. So if you do, let me know. This one was about £2.70. Return to Sender. Sounded awesome on the back. I've never, never heard of it. Looks like a revenge type thing. Girl gets raped and stuff. It looks like she sets out on revenge. So if you've seen that one, guys, let me know. Looks quite cool. This one was £2. A Joel Schumacher film, is it? Called Blood Creek. In the 1930s, Adolf Hitler believed the occult held a secret immortality. Almost a century later, and the nightmare is awakened. So I don't know if this is like a Nazi sort of zombie. I don't know, but for two pound, thought I'd give it a go. I could say some of these are going to be terrible, aren't they? But I thought for on Blu-ray for two quid, you know. So that's Blood Creek. Who's that by? Hmm. Just entertainment one. Well, this one's a decent movie. I really like this. Uh, this was £2 as well. Frozen on Blu-ray. Uh, watched this on the Horror Channel the other week. I have heard people talking about it. Joe the Horror Man and JM Horrific Nightmares really like this one. Uh, quite a cool sort of survival horror. 
with wolves and stuff in the snow trapped in the wilderness it's quite a, a gripping tale and I thought for two pounds or something get that one that's of Amazon I think I've seen this one too but not for a, a few years I can't remember if I watched it on Sky this was like two pound twenty the Vatican tapes so uh, <clears throat> I like my sort of exorcist films and possession films so I think I've seen this one I could be wrong, but for £2 something, can't really go wrong, can I? Um, this one's a horror, and it's got Danny Dyer in, so I don't really know quite know what to make of it. And it's called Devation, um, so it's probably going to be an English movie if it's got Danny Dyer in. Prepare yourself for one of the most terrifying films of the year now. I don't know if this is true or not, but for £2, why not? Um, don't know much about this one, guys, so tell me if you've seen it. The nightmare has only just begun. This one says one of the best British horror movies in years. Um, another one for £2.50 or something. Panic Button on Blu-ray. The Social Network of Shocks. So, don't know much about this one either. Four young people win the competition of a lifetime. So, yeah. I don't know. don't know if it's a bit like Saw or what, but... An innovation of original horror. So, we shall see. 92 minutes long. Two pound, whatever I said. That was it. This one's a Studio Canal one, which was... £2.50 with a slip and it's called In Fear the best British chiller since the descent so a lot of these are British films what I'm picking up here but I don't mind them so don't know, do not know much about this but um, look quite cool remote countryside hotel so probably a bit of suspense there some nice music involved and for two pounds something. Uh, next one I've heard of this, but I haven't watched it yet. I don't think I've got it upstairs, but for two pounds, Stone Art Asylum. Dark grip in the best thriller in years. <clears throat> There's a back guys if you want to read that. I say so if you look through Amazon guys and just you know sometimes you come across across some cool stuff, don't you? Uh, this one's one of the last ones I've got. Night of the Dead, £2. Slip cover, a bit beat up, but there it is, guys. I'm not expecting much from this, just a bit of uh, sword, sword fighting, zombie type things. What's it going to be like? An Evil Dead free rip off or something? I don't know, but we shall see. Low budget stuff, but for two quid. Black Death was only the beginning. And look at the cover. Awesome cover. Normally means rubbish film, doesn't it? But uh, Last one, guys, for £2, I think. Or Like I say, I don't know if these are this price now. This was oh, over a week ago. And they've just been coming in this week. So, I don't know. Um, but this has Rob, uh, got Robert England in it. And it's called... The last showing. This is brand new with a slip. I think it was two pound or two pound fifty, like I've said. Like I said, all these eleven titles come to about in about twenty seven. Did I say twenty seven, twenty eight, something like that? So not much. Um, haven't seen this one. The psychological horror. Hmm. So I say I don't know, but that was me eleven titles. <laughs> 11 titles there picked up guys for measly sum of about £27 and then all the rest have picked up my arrow and stuff so not a bad couple of weeks to be fair uh, I've got a bit of stuff coming in still waiting for my vinegar syndrome haul which is massive to get confirmation letter so that's on the way so I don't know if that's on the way yet or not um, got some criterion coming up because as you know in the UK We've been having two for 25 on Criterion titles. Some more 88 films coming. 
hour of video, some new stuff. Another hour of video from the US, but didn't come out in the UK. I'm still waiting for, so yeah, all good. Getting lots of films in. Not enough time to watch them, but you know, they're there when I need them. <laughs> or to look pretty on my shelf, but you know how it is. I uh, hope everyone's doing all right, guys. Keeping all right. It's still a torrid time in the world at the minute with COVID-19 going off and all these riots and everything. I hope everyone in the US as well because, you know, with all the riots and looting and stuff, um, people's businesses are going down the drain and just terrible racism, which is awful. But uh, it's just really bad to see in the world at the minute. But, yeah, hope everyone's well and... Um, you know comment on this guys if you've seen anything or if you want any videos anything anything you need to know and um yeah i've been tony guys i'll catch you all later thanks for watching